Hello, everybody, and welcome to Corey Taylor Talks Live from Las Vegas, the number one teen talk show. I'm excited for my guest today because, I mean, we were just talking about it. This might be actually the 10th time, which is insane, <laughs> that he's been on the show. You've been kicking butt and taking names. So for Thank some you. of our newer listeners or um, or just new people, uh, what, have, uh, what have you been up to? Tell a little bit about yourself and what you do because you're really awesome. I have a full studio album, and I just go back and forth to L.A., to Vegas, just do tons of shows, everything I could do to throw my tag around and make the world a better place and bring people together, and let's see where it goes. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'd, I'd like to point out that we're kind of matching, too. Yeah, we are. <laughs> my lovely producer, John, pointed that out, so there we go. So it's meant to be, right? <laughs> Thank you. Always. Thank you. Um, so, now, how did you actually uh, start uh, singing and rapping and everything? How did you actually get involved in that? I think my mom just played a lot of uh, rock music growing up, like, um, you know, uh, Metallica and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers yeah. and No Doubt. And I kind of just sang it and sang it as I was very small. And then I grew up to want to be a big singer. There you go. Just influenced by my parents' music, and then eventually I went to pop. Yeah, so 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 um, I was gonna say that's kind yeah. of interesting. You're raised on like the heavy metal rock, uh -huh. and then you went. That's funny, but that's cool. So yeah. do you like uh, do you like more how like um, more passionate it is and stuff, or like what draws you to like hip hop and stuff like that? What draws um, you to that? I don't know. I just think that's where I like went to. I don't know. Somehow I just wanted to be pop singer. <laughs> Because pop or hip hop can be so many different genres, you can right. add to it and make it all sorts of different things. So maybe one day I'll do like a Stephen King thing and change my <laughs> my author name and do a rock right. band. Okay, <laughs> that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be exciting. <laughs> Richard Bachman. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I think um, people like you are making a difference in this world and showing that it's good to be positive. Yeah, and follow your dream no matter what. Yeah, always follow your dream. You cannot let people bring you down. You can't let them win. You can't let the devil win. You can't right. let, you just can't let it win. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. You can't let them win. So keep going and see what could happen. They keep pursuing your dream, exactly like you said. And um, and you're doing great. And you have so many followers that are so supportive <laughs> of you. So that's really, really They're cool. They're amazing. I'm, I'm really blessed that God's putting me in a position to help people through my music. Absolutely. So why don't you uh, talk a little bit about the Stay Strong campaign? Like, what do you actually do with it? Um, I was actually on uh, Channel 8 News um, about three months ago, maybe two months. I don't know. <laughs> it goes by so fast. Right. But um, they uh, interviewed me about what I've been through, all the pain and the sorrow that I went through, how I turned it around and made it such a positive thing on the Internet. Cause I've seen so much hate on the mm -hmm. internet, hate, and I wanted people to make hashtag stay strong what made them feel like they stayed strong or what their story was so they can inspire people like I inspired people. That's awesome. And you even, uh, you wrote a song too, yes. if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you uh, talk about the song a little bit? Because it's a really beautiful song. Thank you. It's your favorite, right? That's right. <laughs> stay strong. Um, I wrote that in a dark point in my life when I was being bullied and well, I still am bullied, but <laughs> I wrote that when I, you know, was struggling and some angels around me grabbed the pen out of my hand and wrote this incredible positive rap song. And I rapped it. I took it to the studio and I rapped it. And um, it helps a lot of people to stay away from the negativity and be positive in life. And it, it doesn't matter if you have a fancy car, you are who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. You know, black, white, Mexican, it just everybody has a right to stay strong and follow their dreams and continue on a positive road. Yeah, well, everyone's a human being, and mm -hmm. I think we just need to treat each other like human beings and follow the old golden rule. Um, um, yeah. I but, saved um, my money to death, and right. I recorded this song, so it's all me. And when it was done, I felt so proud of myself that yeah. I saved my money, I got into the studio myself, I composed my own song, I wrote my own song, so it feels good. And now the hard part is to get it out there, right. your creation. 
<laughs> oh, it is, and it's difficult. And but um, you you know you do have a lot of uh, really loyal s- fans and a support base, everything, and um, that's I really cool. They all. do help us, spread <gasps> the word for it. And you just performed at Venice Beach too, if I'm not yes, mistaken, I did. right? Mm-hmm. It was my second year on Venice Beach, and it was it's oh it gets me so sweaty that I jump in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was so hot this year. I don't know if it was yeah. global warming or what, but it was hotter than last year. Global warming <laughs> is real. Uh, no, it's uh, it's a very uh, tough uh, world out there in Hollywood. It but you know, um, it re- Vegas is great because um, it's just start. It's just starting to get big, it and it is. And there's so many people out here who are so creative, and mm-hmm. there's a huge music community, huge Tons. film community, huge art community. And I don't think a lot of people even realize that. Mm-hmm. I don't even it's people true. think people really realize that people live in Vegas, and it's yeah. an actual community and stuff, and a huge community. But um, it is. Uh, there's so many uh, creative outlets and stuff, and it's great, but there is still that competition, and it's just crazy to me because we're all just trying to make mm-hmm. it and trying to do what we love <clears throat> and doing what we want for a passion, but yeah. it's so horrible. People just, and everything, they have yeah. to bring it down, but uh, I've been lucky it's enough for the film community, at least, and the radios and everything, to find yeah. positive people. Exactly. Who, uh, we do. We work together, and it's great. But there's always going to be those negative people. But I don't think they're ever going to be successful in life. You're talented and successful, and you're doing Thank what you, you love, and that's all that Absolutely. really matters. And you will make it, and you're uh, hugely successful already. Oh. And so that's awesome. Thank you. So, what advice Thank do you, you have uh, for people that are trying to make it into the music business and stuff? Because, like we we're just saying, it's very difficult. What advice do you have? Um. Keep evolving and never look back. You have blonde hair. Yeah. So you like cool. it? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I'm, I feel like a different person every time I'm on your show. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe dreadlocks one day. 